This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Haley Wilgus. Thank you for joining us tonight. Topping our news this evening, President Trump vowing to fight a judicial setback shortly after federal judges refused to reinstate his travel ban from some majority Muslim nations. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez reports. A unanimous decision by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals against reinstating President Donald Trump's temporary ban on immigrants and travelers from seven predominantly Muslim nations. The judges did their jobs carefully and well, and we uh, appreciate their work. The three judges upheld a halt to the ban and stated by a Washington state court, which claimed the January 27th executive order that stranded families at airports and forced others to be turned away discriminated on the basis of religion and violated the Constitution. The appeals court heard that argument and that of the Justice Department, which maintained the order was made on national security grounds. The judges wrote in their decision the government has pointed to no evidence that any alien from any of the countries named in the order has perpetrated a terrorist attack in the United States. Rather than present evidence to explain the need for the executive order, the government has taken the position that we must not review its decision at all. We disagree. President Trump responding, tweeting, see you in court. The security of our nation is at stake. It's a political decision and we're going to see them in court and I look forward to doing it. And it's a decision that will win, uh, in my opinion, very easily. In response to the president's tweet, well, we, uh, we have seen him in court twice and we're two for two. And the Justice Department said it is reviewing the decision and considering its options. This case could go all the way to the Supreme Court. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Los Angeles. Now to an update on the Circus Sarasota stunt at practice that sent several performers to the hospital. We're hearing now from Nick Walenda, who was part of that act. Some performers fell from about 28 feet in the air while attempting an eight-person high-wire pyramid, which would be a world record. Five performers were injured, three with trauma level injuries. Today, one of those three patients has been released from the hospital and officials say they don't believe any of these injuries will be permanent. Well, Linda says it's still unclear why the pyramid collapsed. We don't know yet what happened. Um, there's thoughts that my, um, somebody might have fainted. Um, we, just, we just don't know. It's a miracle. Uh, the doctor said it's a miracle. Uh, you know, the, the head of, of surgery at, at um, of emergency surgery, trauma surgery at Sarasota Memorial said people don't live from accidents like this. Now, instead of that eight person pyramid, Circus Sarasota is reworking its finale with a new lineup to include Nick, his wife, his cousin and some other stand ins. The 20th anniversary Synergy show opens tomorrow. And despite yesterday's accident, the show did go on tonight. A special Circus Sarasota dress rehearsal performance took place this evening ahead of tomorrow night's big opening. ABC 7's Rick Adams was there and joins us with more Rick. Yeah, Haley, it was certainly an emotional night, but lots of fun. The performers really put on a great show tonight. We want you to get on that wire again. That's what we do. That's who we are. The decision to perform Thursday night for Nick Walenda was an easy one. After the five who were injured in Wednesday's high wire fall told him he should do it. Some of the others involved in that accident performed as well. It was tragic. Uh, the entire incident, um, it was a nightmare. But there's triumph through it. That triumph is having the show go on, and that's what the performers did. Thursday's Circus Sarasota show was a warm up for their nearly month long run. Tonight's performance clearly will be in the honor of those uh, that are injured. It is for them. Uh, it is also for my ancestors, many of them who lost their lives performing. The huge audience was made up of folks in the circus industry. They were all happy to be part of this night, especially after what had transpired a day earlier. It's always, like they say, the show must go on. And it sounds like just an old saying, but that's true. Circus people just go on. Just the excitement, just seeing everybody, seeing the excitement on everybody's faces, and just seeing... Sarasota. For Pedro Reyes and his team at the Circus Arts Conservatory, Thursday's performance was an important one in the aftermath of the accident. We overcome these things and life goes on. Circus Sarasota runs from February 10th through March 5th under the big top next to the mall at University Town Center. And tomorrow night's opening of Circus Sarasota gets underway at 7 o'clock. Some tickets are still available. Ellie, back to you. 
Thank you, Rick. So great to see that show still going on. They're so resilient. It was a lot of fun. It really was. Looks like it. Thank you, Rick. And now we'll head over to Bob and get a check on our forecast, which is actually a lot cooler this evening. It is cooler and that is truly a miracle that uh, things are are starting to look a lot better as far as that goes uh, with that uh, tragic accident. It's 61 degrees right now. It is a bit cooler out there. Haley, the dew point temperature has dropped now. It's down to 51 degrees. Some cooler air has settled in behind the front, which is now down to our south. And you can see that front is clearly down into the south portion of the state right now. Some clouds down there, but clearing here and it looks as though we will see a cool night. We're looking for temperatures to get back down to seasonal averages uh, down into the, uh, for the most part, low 50s, some upper 40s well inland, some false echoes off our coast, but there are some legitimate showers down there in the Straits of Florida. The dry air is now moved in and you can see that quite clearly from Louisiana all the way down into Florida right now. So no threat of any more rainfall. We had a few brief sprinkles this morning with the passage of that front, but all in all temperatures are starting to cool down a little bit in the low 60s right now, expected to fall about 10 more degrees than what they are right now. We'll have much more in our forecast as we take a look at the weekend coming up in just a few minutes. Haley. Thank you, Bob. Another Sarasota County Sheriff's deputy has been arrested. Deputy Carson Lee Plank has been arrested in connection to the Frankie Bybee case. Bybee, a sheriff's deputy who was terminated, is facing a total of 25 charges, including attempted murder. He's accused of harassing a 79 year old woman, withdrawing money from her account, forging a suicide note in her name, among other allegations. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office says Plank was one of the first deputies on the scene at the victim's home and lied to detectives. Plank is on administrative leave and her employment status is pending the outcome of multiple investigations. She has been charged with providing false information to law enforcement during an investigation. Sarasota County has announced that Assistant County Administrator Jonathan Evans has accepted a position as the city manager in Riviera Beach, Florida. Evans joined Sarasota County government in August of 2016. During his tenure, he was part of the county's efforts to extend the Legacy Trail and launch the Siesta Key Circulator Pilot Project. His final day with Sarasota County is March 3rd. Straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with the official Suncoast forecast. Plus, bond has been set for a woman arrested in connection with murders in Florida and Alabama. And a new bill would expand where Floridians can buy hard liquor. Come into a California Closet showroom to experience our quality materials and construction and collaborate with our designers to create the perfect custom solution for any room. Go to CaliforniaClosets.com to request a free design consultation and locate the showroom nearest to you. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Florida's last private island is a waterfront lifestyle like no other. This is Harbor Isle, just five minutes from the sugar sand beaches of Anna Maria Island. This sun-splashed paradise invites you to enjoy natural adventures and all the recreation of a tropical resort. Island coach homes and waterfront condos are now available from the high 400s, plus incredible savings on move-in ready homes. Come to our six designer models. This is the time of your life. Make it island time at Harbor Isle. Go to MintoFLA.com now. What does it mean when New South Window says Factory Direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at Factory Direct prices. Plus, New South Windows are made in Florida. Port Florida Home. By Florida workers, because we know Florida weather. Right now, buy two windows, get the third free, plus our lifetime warranty. New South Window. We manufacture. We install. We guarantee. Call now. Come out to the best party of the season, the Goodwill Mardi Gras Gala on February 28th at Michael's on Eat. Tickets at experiencegoodwill.org. 
They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Winter White event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at CaliforniaClosets.com. Bob, I'm sure they had a nice night under the oh, big yeah. top because it cooled down because it can get hot. Under oh, it the can. Yeah. yeah, you like a little bit cooler air mm -hmm. and it has moved in indeed. And great weather today, too, for the right. uh, Plantation Community Foundation Celebrity Golf Classic. And Ron Noble put you on a great You guys did thing. really and good. Yeah, we were second place. Uh, we were good. 14 under or something like 18 under one in our division, but nonetheless, it was good. Close. It was a that's close right. one. It's always good to see all the guys there, you know, Sam Jones and Rico Petroselli and all the other ones as well. We had a good chance to play with uh, uh, Tommy Hume of mm. uh, the Cincinnati Reds, too, fun. who was a okay. great pitcher. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Always fun to do that. Uh, a good sunset time. You, you wouldn't believe the sunset photos that have come in to pics at mysuncoast.com. I couldn't get them all on the air. We'd be all, all, all evening just showing pictures. But here's the ones that I did get. This one from Michael Clobber. That's right, uh, from Selby. You can see that looking out over Sel uh, Sarasota Bay. Beautiful shot there as the sun was going down. And this one from Teresia, Kathleen Fisher, uh, sending that photo in. Appreciate that one. Another great, spectacular shot uh, come Ed McCrane, the director of the emergency management uh, department here in Sarasota County. And this one, too, from our favorite Norm. Norm, that's right, Sarasota Bay, the high cirrus clouds that were around. Uh, Sarasota Bay webcam showing the uh, clouds moving through this evening, and that's what caused a spectacular sunset tonight. And we appreciate all the photos that you sent in, and again, they'll be available on our, our, our website at mysuncoast.com. Check out the viewer photos and a few photos. Cooler through Friday. So Friday is one day of cooler temperatures, and even those will be right around average for this time of year. And then we'll look for a warmer weekend to have next chance of rain doesn't come until, it looks like, next week, Wednesday and Thursday. And right now, it's not all that big of a chance of rainfall. That rain now is down to our south. The big story today has been the nor'easter, which produced Look at this, 19 inches of snow in East Hartford, Connecticut. New York saw about 10 inches of snow fall there. Boston getting close to 19 as well. And all that snow now winding down and turning very cold up there. Cool weather for us as that front is now down to our south. And that front will continue to move to the south and eventually fade away. So look for cool temperatures as winds will be basically coming out of the north and eventually, eventually to the northeast. Right now it's 61, so it's not bad out there. But it's a drier atmosphere has moved in. The dew point is 51. And the winds now out of the north at six. So the winds are starting to come down, but the pressure is rising at 3025. And that will continue to rise throughout the overnight. The high today was 79 before the front moved in. This morning's low was 68. Our averages are 73 for high and 53 for a low. No rainfall, measurable rain at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport, although we did see a trace of showers move through with the, the uh, little front uh, that moved on through. Temperatures now low 50s for the most part uh, with the panhandle, low 60s in the central portion of the state and low 70s down south. Right now it's 61 in Arcadia, 57 in Lake Placid and 70 in the Gulf water temperature and Venice now at 63, Inglewood the same. The wind flow will stay out of the north tonight, but notice, notice what happens tomorrow. Uh, just after sunrise, it starts to change around to more of an east northeasterly direction, which will start to warm us up, but not so much tomorrow. We'll see highs right around 70, 73 degrees, and then much warmer on Saturday and Sunday. You can see those clouds in the forecast becoming more east to west, and that's a result of the high pressure ridge kind of parked over our area, and it will block anything from happening as far as any kind of stormy weather our way over the upcoming days. Not until Wednesday, another front approaches out west. Uh, the last storm in a series is making its way through California. The big story has been the blizzard conditions over much of the northern New England states, but that is now changing and things are starting to improve somewhat there. Well, here's the forecast as we see it for boaters tomorrow. A bit breezy in the morning and then wind subsiding in the afternoon. We'll have seas still running, though, three to five feet at times, a moderate chop choppy conditions. And the water temperature, there it is, 70 degrees, very warm for this time of year. The water temperature, tides upcoming. 
A low tide will be at 709 tomorrow morning and a high tide will be at 118. Sunrise at 710. Much cooler tonight. It will be a bit breezy to start things off tomorrow. You'll need a jacket or sweater. And then the north winds at 10 to 15 will subside somewhat later in the afternoon. Mostly cool tomorrow. High or mostly clear. High of 71. And then back into the mid-70s we go right through the weekend. A gorgeous weekend anticipated up and down the sun coast. Well, didn't get a chance to go out with Captain Johnny, but did make it to the beach to do a little fishing. Here's more. They say the fishing can be great right before a cold front arrives and... Whenever the water's moving, I like the incoming tide or the outgoing tide, but preferably the incoming tide is better. Coach Steve Herrick of Beach Fishing Adventures says the fishing's been good as of late. I have last week we got snapper and sheep's head, and then also at the point we got some uh, papano. And an avid angler from upstate New York, Steve Nikolai, is a happy returning customer. Yeah, he always knows where to go and when. So uh, he's a good connection to have down here. Yeah. Gets uh, some big snook on the beach occasionally and uh, some nice pompano too. Coach Steve says the water quality seems to be improving. What about red tide? Has it been a problem here? No, the red tide is cleared up, thank God. And the water's pretty warm. Bad, I, I 70 it. degrees to be exact. That's a sheep's head right there. He's just a little bit small. Oh, yeah. But they're fun, still fun to catch. Hopefully we'll get some nice big ones. And bigger ones it was as he hauls in this much bigger criminal fish, as per the stripes. Mr. Nikolai also hooks up a real nice one. It was the fish that kept biting, along with some others as well, to the delight of this couple strolling by. You guys are out of this world. It's so much fun to watch what you're doing. Using this banana jig, he shows how he baits the hook. Here, and just thread that on there. Just to tip it, I want to break off the head. And there you have, it looks like a little crabby. Just what the pompano like to eat. There it is down the water. And it worked as he pulls in this yeah, nice, tasty right pompano. But it was the last catch, okay, which was job. the catch of the day. You want to put bite a little? No, 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 I got it. Nice job, Bob. Nice, thank nice. you, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're here, baby. Every time, my man. That was a lot of fun. Steve's a nice guy right there. Yeah. yeah. Captain Rick Grassett sent this photo, and this was from down near Boca Grande. Mike Perez catching that nice redfish that you see right there, still being caught. And Martin uh, Marlowe catching uh, this spotted sea trout. Big one, I might say, in the same location. And here's another great photo offshore. Brian Marcy took his clients out there, and uh, I think that's a big red grouper. I can't really tell from right here, but it looks like a red grouper. If not, forgive me, I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we forgive you. Yeah, some good glass. Good fishing, good though, fishing, because yeah. I know you guys had a few weeks there where it wasn't so great, yeah. so it's picking back up. It's weird, too. The water temperature at 70 degrees, and the mm -hmm. fish are very active right now. So. All right, so get out there. Yes, right. Thank you, Bob. A follow-up now on the investigation into the deaths of four women in two states. In Florida today, bond has been set at $750,000 for a woman facing multiple charges in the deaths of four people in Florida and Alabama. Mary Rice made her first court appearance this afternoon in Santa Rosa County where she's been charged with accessory after the fact to first degree murder. Rice was arrested at a West Point, Georgia motel following a police standoff that ended with another suspect, William Billy Boyette, fatally shooting himself. Rice and Boyette are suspected in all four killings. State lawmakers are considering a crackdown on sanctuary cities and counties in Florida. The Center for Immigration Studies reports six of Florida's 67 counties as having policies that are not cooperative with federal immigration law. House representatives are proposing two bills that would require state and local governments and law enforcement agencies to cooperate with federal immigration authorities or face fines of up to $5,000 a day and risk removal from office. Proponents of the bill say it's an issue of safety, but those against it say it could allow racial discrimination and undermine relations between illegal immigrants and law enforcement. Another controversial proposal in Tallahassee today to change Florida's stand your ground law. A Senate panel voted for a bill that would place more of a burden on prosecutors to prove self-defense was not a factor when charging someone with assaulting or killing another person. If approved, it would reverse a Florida Supreme Court ruling that says defendants have the burden of proof. Opponents counter that the measure would put an end to cases before all of the facts are even revealed.
Floridians may soon be able to buy their hard alcohol during their weekly grocery shopping, a bill that would repeal a decades old prohibition on grocery stores and other retailers from being able to sell hard liquor. It's moving quickly through the state legislature. Many other states already allow grocery stores to sell liquor right next to the other items, but in Florida, liquor must be sold in a separate location. We've had a process set up that, that nobody cares about except a couple of large international corporations who want to get into that business in Florida in their stores. The proposal has pitted companies such as Target and Walmart who want the change against companies including Publix that do not. Despite strong opposition today, a House panel announced it is backing the proposed constitutional amendment that would place term limits on Florida Supreme Court justices and state appeals court judges. The plan would prevent Supreme Court justices and those appeals court judges from seeking additional terms if they have already served 12 consecutive years in their positions. The opposition says this will dissuade young attorneys from leaving their law practices for judgeships, while those who support the measure say the change would update an old system. The measure would go on the 2018 ballot if it gets through the legislature. Sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. Here's a preview of tonight's show specifically for you. Who is the more realistic character, Olivia Pope or Kellyanne Conway? <laughs> A lot of spin. <laughs> <laughs> All hands on deck. What's up? I want to point out three tips for using the home computer more safely. Point away. First, stop. Make sure your software is up to date and that you've password protected your computer's login and Wi-Fi connection. Next, think before visiting a site, opening attachments, or clicking on links. Then connect, knowing you're helping make the web safer for you and for everyone. Make Stop, Think, Connect part of your daily online routine. Whee! I believe that home is where your pet is. And that loving an animal means never giving up on them, never letting them go. I believe that when you spare and neuter your pets, you help decrease the number of homeless animals. Because every dog and cat deserves a place to call home. I believe that I found my best friend at a shelter. And you can too. We believe that together with Best Friends Animal Society, we can bring about a time when there are no more homeless pets. Visit ambassadors.bestfriends.com. Are you considering joint replacement or revision surgery? Consider this. Dr. Edward Stolarski has performed thousands of successful joint replacement procedures and trained surgeons from all over the world. Using advanced technologies, Dr. Stolarski is able to perform some of the most complex surgeries. I wish I knew about Dr. Stolarski much sooner. After the surgery, I don't have any pain. It's like I've got a 16-year-old hip. My name's Ed Stolarski. What I really do is I give people back their life. Schedule a consultation today. Go ahead. Make a fashion statement. Demand something more than just ordinary. Capture elegance in every turn and drive with flair. Where beautiful styling is standard. Stop in and take a test drive. I'll guarantee you'll never go back to plain vanilla again. The all-new 2017 Fiat 500, starting at $14,999 only at Sunset Fiat in Sarasota. Look, I'm not an idealist. I am an originalist. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12 year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. 
Now, sports. The Pittsburgh Pirates are setting up for another spring training in Bradenton. The Pirates equipment arrived on a truck last night at Pirate City. Staff unloading the truck first thing this morning. It was nearly everything they will need to get ready for the spring season. This shipment, it's the largest shipment that comes down from Pittsburgh. It's a combination of the equipment that we use for spring training, as well as a mixture of personal luggage and items, not only for players, but also for executive staff and any staff from Pittsburgh that has involvement with helping operate spring training here in Bradenton. Pitchers and catchers will report to camp this coming Monday and then begin workouts on Tuesday. The rest of the team will arrive next Thursday. The Pirates kick off spring training at home against the Orioles on February 25th. A countdown clock for the first Winter Olympics to take place in South Korea unveiled in the capital city of Seoul last night. The 12 month countdown to the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Games officially underway. To celebrate the occasion, Omega, the official Olympic timekeeper, set up a digital clock, as you just saw there, in the South Korea capital in front of City Hall. The clock displays the number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds left until the competition starts. A showdown last night between, between a former New York Knicks player and the team's owner. Cell phone video captures a confrontation seen here between Charles Oakley and the team owner James Dolan during a Knicks and Clippers game at Madison Square Garden. In the video, Oakley is seen shouting at Dolan and shoving security guards. He was then escorted out of the building and arrested. Oakley was one of the Knicks top players during the team's run to the 1994 NBA Finals. That's a look at sports. We'll have tonight's lotto numbers right after this. I love big bling for little Ching. That's why I only wear Spectralite diamonds from Creative Gems, or I wear nothing at all. The agents at SWC would like to show you pictures of all the homes that they've sold quickly for their clients. But they're just too many to show. Contact SWC today and find out for yourself. We just market your home better. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. Are you paying too much for your cable or satellite TV? The U.S. government passed a bill mandating free over-the-air digital transmission of all broadcast network television channels. That means with the new TV Freeway digital antenna, you can get free HD programming from your favorite broadcast networks 24-7 without a bill. You just plug it into the back of your TV and start watching all of your favorite broadcast programs for free. There are no contracts to sign, no hidden fees, and no monthly fees. Just free HD broadcast TV. Take it with you anywhere. Call or go online now to get your TV freeway stick for the incredibly low price of only $14.99. But wait, call or click now and you can get a second TV freeway stick for a second TV. Just pay a separate fee, but you have to order right now. Call 1-800-809-5196 to get your TV freeway. Call now or go to tvfreeway.com. So call 1-800-809-5196. This offer's not in any store. Call now. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Robotic surgery is changing medicine. The robot has better vision than a human. You can see 10 times better magnification than the human eye, but it takes a human eye to run the machine. In fact, it takes multiple human eyes to treat a patient. We've perfected the team, we've perfected the procedure, and the more experienced the team, the better the quality outcome. Contemporary cabinetry and closet concepts. Our strength is in building a relationship with our clients. Locally owned and operated for over 30 years. When you organize your home, you simplify your life. Call today for a free in-home consultation or visit the web at contemporarycabinetrysrq.com. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the blingiest of them all? You are, with Spectralite Diamonds, all gorgeous and affordable. Only found at Creative Gems, where you always get big bling for little ching.
One of my favorites, Kate McKinnon, announced as the new voice of Ms. Frizzle in Netflix's upcoming revival of The Magic School Bus. McKinnon, who is best known for her comedy on Saturday Night Live, will take over the role for Lily Tomlin, who originally voiced the character in the animated series, which aired from 1994 to 1997. The man once considered Hollywood's most eligible bachelor is going to be a dad. Actor George Clooney and his wife are expecting twins. Clooney and Amal, an international human rights attorney, they were married back in September of 2014. The pair are first-time parents, both of them. No word yet on when the twin babies are due. But this is big news because now not only George Clooney and Amal, but Jay Z and Beyonce are having twins wow. too. Twins. That's uh, that's a lot of twins. That's a lot of like for celebrity. the first one. Yeah, that's pretty tough. First, uh, the children, <laughs> right. are, so to speak. So congrats to them. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great evening.